Welcome back everyone. This is lesson seven. It's on the volume of a sphere. In the previous lesson, we did the surface area of a sphere and the same person, Archimedes, found the formula for the volume of a sphere. He found that the volume of a sphere is exactly to two thirds the volume of a cylinder with the same width and height. So using the picture we used in the last lesson, we put a sphere inside a cylinder and it touches perfectly on the top and bottom and the sides. So the height of the cylinder is equal to two times the radius. From Archimedes, we know that the volume of a sphere is equal to two thirds the volume of this particular cylinder here. Obviously, you can tell that sphere must be a smaller volume than the cylinder because there's lots of empty space around here. So the volume of a sphere is two thirds times the volume of a cylinder. And this is your formula for the volume of the cylinder. It's the base area, which is pi r squared times the height. And you would have learned that in grade eight. So we'll let h equal two r and substitute this into our formula. So the volume of a sphere is two thirds times the base area times the height. And we put two R in for the height. So when we simplify our formula, we'll get two times two, which is four. Three is in the denominator. We have a pi and R squared times R is R cubed. So this is our volume of a sphere, four on three times pi r cubed. In terms of the hemisphere, we can find the volume of a hemisphere by dividing the area of its total volume by two. So in terms of formula, we would proceed as follows. This is the volume of a sphere from this last slide, four on three pi r cubed. We would divide our sphere volume by two, so four and three pi r cubed divided by two. And then when we simplify, four and three divided by two is the same as four on six. A quick way to do that, just multiply the two and three, two threes are six here. And then we simplify that and we'll get two thirds pi r cubed. If you can't remember this formula, just get the volume of a sphere formula and divide that volume by two and you'll get your answer there anyway. In our first example, we want to find the volume of this sphere and we want to write the answer correct to two decimal places. So the first thing you should always do is write your formula, which is four on three pi r cubed. Substitute in the radius value, which is r is 22, so four on three pi r cubed, 22 cubed, we'll get the answer 44,602.24 cubic centimeters. And that's two decimal places here. Example two, find the radius of a sphere if its volume is 426 cubic centimeters. So we write the formula for the volume of a sphere, four on three pi r cubed. Substitute the volume as 426 here. And we need to rearrange this formula. So we want the radius. So the quick way, we multiply both sides by three, which will cancel that three there. So basically the three will go up here. Then the four pi can come down to this side underneath. So all I'm doing here is rearranging the formula. So we calculate this in your calculator. You'll get 101.7, which is equal to R cubed. When you cancel a cube, we take the cube root of both sides, as is shown here. So the radius is the cube root of 101.7. So 
which is 4.67 centimeters to two decimal places. So you may want to practice this rearranging equations here. That's the area that you may have a bit of problem with. In another example, we have two spheres. The radius is three and four. What is the ratio of their volumes? So the ratio of the volumes of the two spheres can be written as the volume of the first sphere, which is three centimeters, the radius, the radius is three centimeters. And then the radius of the second one is four centimeters. We put that the denominator. We will put in our formulas for the volume of each one. Notice I keep this as pi. I didn't change it to 3.14 because it's going to cancel anyway. So 4 on 3 pi, 4 and 3 pi will both cancel, top and bottoms. Okay, so don't leave, don't make your pi into a decimal. So leave it as pi because it's going to cancel. And so we end up as the ratio of the volume being 27 to 64.